Okay, everyone. Today we're going to be doing another Delete Code question. It's been a while since my last upload, so we'll do an interesting one. This one is called Network Delay Time. So this is a graph problem that actually uh, has a solution that is a straightforward implementation of Dijkstra's algorithm, so we'll be sure to discuss that. The question is as follows. You're given a list of list times which is formatted as such. You have a bunch of UVW triples that represent the, um, the edges of a weighted directed graph where U is the source vertex, V is the destination vertex, and W is the weight. In addition, you're given the parameters N and K where k is going to be the origination vertex and n is the number of vertices. And the way that this question is set up, the vertices will always be the num labeled with the numbers 1 through n. So for example, if n equals 3, then you have three vertices labeled 1, 2, and 3 respectively. And the question is as follows. If you're given this graph, and a signal is sent from vertex k. You have to determine um, the minimum amount of time for the signal to reach all vertices, assuming it travels in all possible directions from the origination vertex. If no such time is possible, then you return minus 1. So, um, as an example, you could have a graph like this, where you have vertex 1, going to vertex 2 and then vertex 3 and each of these edge weights is 1. Well if you send a signal from vertex 1 um, as the starting vertex it will travel to vertex 3 and vertex 2 in one unit of time and then travel again to vertex 3 in one unit of time. Note that it takes a full uh, two units of time for it to travel from 1 to 2 to 3, but there's an alternative pathway for the signal to get from 1 to 3. And thus the minimum amount of time required for the signal to travel to all vertices is just 1. If instead we chose 2 as the source vertex and emitted a signal in all possible directions, notice that there is no um, Wait, there is no edge that allows us to access vertex 1, therefore there is no um, possible solution, and thus we should return minus 1. So now that we understand the problem, let's talk about um, how to solve it efficiently. So one thing that you'll notice is that if you had the shortest path from the source vertex to all vertices in the graph, then the answer would be the maximum of the shortest paths of all vertices, or minus one if a vertex is inaccessible. Therefore, if we have an efficient shortest path algorithm, we can also solve this question efficiently. And that brings us to Dijkstra's algorithm, uh, uh, which I'll just write some pseudocode he up here for. So Dijkstra's algorithm is a shortest path algorithm. And the idea is as follows. Initialize distances of all vertices to infinity. Then initialize a priority queue and on queue the source vertex with a distance of zero. So what's a priority queue? So as you know a queue is a type of data structure which is um, a ordered list that has a last in first uh, first in first out behavior 
meaning that objects are taken out in the order that they're added. However, a priority queue adds a twist. You can have a score um, that represents how important the object is in the relative ordering uh, in the queue, and then use that to determine who should come out of the queue first. In Python, this is implemented with heaps, since with a heap data structure, you can efficiently look up an element uh, which has the maximum priority, which is going to be the top of the heap. And then once you pop that, you can use Heapify in order to bubble up the new top of the heap in case you need to dequeue an object multiple times. So I'm, I'll just make here a note here that this is implemented using heaps in Python. So you onqueue the first uh, vertex with a distance of zero. And then while queue, the queue is not empty, you will do the following. You will dequeue a vertex and mark as completed. Now it's important to note here that when we're dequeuing this vertex, because the data structure is a priority queue, we're dequeuing by default the vertex that has the shortest current distance um, out of all the possible vertices. And that makes Dijkstra's a greedy algorithm in the sense that we are looking for a locally optimal solution and eventually coming to a globally optimal solution. The next step after dequeuing this vertex we will uh, look at all neighbors of the vertex. For neighbor of vertex, we'll update um, the distances of the neighbors of the vertex that we just dequeued if there is a path from the current vertex to the neighbor vertex that is lower than the current distance marked at that vertex. Remember that all distances are initially marked to infinity so the updates at the beginning will be relatively quick. So we're going to do if um, distance to vertex plus edge weight from vertex to neighbor is less than the neighbor's weight, then we'll update the neighbor distance. And once this is completed, the distances data structure will have the shortest paths to all vertices. Or if there is no path to that vertex, it will remain as positive infinity. So now that we understand Dijkstra's algorithm, let's implement it in Python. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a set of all the vertices. Um, so uh, actually, let's create distances, which is going to be a dictionary that houses the um, current uh, shortest path distances to all vertices. And it's going to be initialized as infinity for every vertex because of the nature of Dijkstra's algorithm. So we'll do distances equals the following. We'll do an open bracket for a dictionary and then say vertex colon float in for vertex in range of 1 to n plus 1. We will also initialize the priority queue, which we'll call p, um, and on queue the first source vertex, which is marked as k. Okay, and this is just a note about how the priority queues are implemented in Python, but you can introduce tuples to represent the objects of a priority queue, and always the first element in that tuple, that is the zeroth index element, is the score that you want to represent your priority, and lower priorities are by default given higher weight. Next, we will transform our times into a graph, Used by the following. We'll say for UVW in times, uh, we'll initialize a default dict to be the graph. So graph equals collections.defaultdict of list. 
and we'll do graph of v equals um, w, uh, vw. So, in other words, we're creating a dictionary. That, um, sorry, this should be append actually. Dot append vw. We're creating a dictionary that houses lists of tuples which represent the neighbors of each vertex. And the tuples are, tuples are ordered such that the zeroth index houses the neighbor itself, which is uh, labeled by an integer, and the second index is the edge weight. Okay, so now that we have all the data structures we need, we're going to um, work with the priority queue. We'll say while the priority queue exists, we'll um, do We'll do dist and uh, u equals heap q dot heap pop of q of p. So this is a special um, priority queue dequeuing operation in Python, which again in the back end all of this is implemented using heaps. Okay, and then we will do the following. We'll say for neighbor, comma, or we'll just say for VW in graph of V, graph of U, rather, we want to ask the question if V If distance plus w is less than distances of v, in other words, if we found a shorter path from the current vertex to the destination vertex than the distance that's currently reported at, at the destination vertex, we want to update that distance with the new shortest path that we found. And in addition, we also want to on-queue that vertex. So we will do p dot heap q dot heap push, and then use uh, our heap p as the first parameter, and then the tuple um, distance plus w v as the second tuple. And then finally, at the end, we'll say, we'll, we will have created the shortest path dictionary that we're looking for, and it will be stored in the variable distances. So then we can ask ourselves, is there a viable path to every vertex? If there's not, we would return minus one. Otherwise, we return the largest, shortest path distance. So if float of inf is in uh, distances.values. We know that there are some vertices which are inaccessible by the current algorithm. Therefore, we can return minus 1. Else, we know that all vertices are accessible, and the network delay time, which is what the question is asking for, should be the minimum of all of the shortest paths. So, sorry, the maximum. Return max of distances.values. So this is a nice problem to explore um, graphs and shortest path algorithms. It's a pretty mu much a straightforward implementation of Dijkstra's algorithm, and I hope you enjoyed the video.